Hi guys, welcome to another quick tutorial about Filmora 10. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the render button. So it's not a new tutorial. By the way, uh, maybe there's some tips uh, here you don't know about this render button. Okay, let's go. Uh, so here I am inside uh, Filmora 10. Uh, so where's the render button? This one? Uh, this one is the render button. So uh, what is what is this render button used for? It can be used when you are editing video on a low-end computer or uh, when you drag and drop too many things on the timeline. Uh, you drag uh, effect and title and transition and many things on the timeline. So it, uh, your timeline become laggy and choppy and you cannot review your video. Okay, for example here, uh, I have a clip here. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, so this one I shot with my GoPro Hero 7 and the resolution is 2.7K, uh, 60 FPS and it's play fine, right? Uh, but once I am add a title or something, uh, title, uh, another title, uh, for example this is a subtitle, right? And this is a title for the video and uh, also I drag and drop some effect here, uh, shadow and something more. Uh, we include a shadow and this radio or something so the timeline become uh, messy now and the green line here it turned to red so now it's time to uh, to hit the render button otherwise you cannot play the video smoothly uh, like this so you see that it's it choppy and the, the play head is just uh, working like that uh, and it's time to hit the render button this one so you need to create a uh, review render for your video like this so this is the way that you normally do and I also do the same uh, while editing video I do this uh, while editing video okay I'm going to cancel it and here's the trick that nobody tell you even me now I'm going to tell you okay so whenever I have a new project for example uh, when I import everything into Filmora 10 or Filmora 9, it's the same. When I import all of them into uh, into the media library, you see here, this is a one day of me in Seoul, Korea. And the first thing I do is just uh, select all of them and drag and drop them onto the timeline and then I render the timeline uh, like this. For, for example, I will select only some clip here, otherwise it will, be, will become laggy because uh, uh, it is too heavy for my computer. For example, I will select uh, six of uh, this clip and right and drop it onto the timeline like this. Okay, and keep the project setting. So you see, you see what happening with uh, with my timeline. So it, as you can see here, uh, right after I drag and drop this clip onto the timeline, my timeline become green. It is not red like this because it is it is already I already render all this clip before I drag and drop them uh, to the timeline for for editing, for cutting and splitting. So how to do that? Uh, for example, you can do like this with the render button. Uh, you drag and drop everything here, uh, down here, and then you hit the render button. And then you just uh, watch TV or go out or wait because it takes time to render all the clip here uh, in the media clip. Uh, but after that, you can uh, you can edit your video smoothly. And uh, this is a trick. Uh, after you render everything here on the timeline, it becomes green. But uh, whenever you, uh, whenever you, you you edit your video, uh, your timeline is very long. So all you need to do is to delete everything. So once you delete everything, everything on the timeline, but it's already rendered. Okay, so it uh, the program has has created the render file. So uh, in the media library. Uh, it is the render file. For example, this clip, I can drag and drop it onto the timeline and I can preview it smoothly without without any further rendering uh, here. You see that it's green so I can play it smoothly. That's nice, right? So that's a trick for, for all of you uh, when you start editing a new project, uh, when you start a new project with Filmora, so you can consider to render everything in the media library, and after that you delete it, 
uh, delete all of them on the timeline and then now you can uh, select any clip in the media library and then drag and drop it uh, onto the timeline and split and do whatever you uh, you want and now uh, while editing you also uh, need to uh, to hit this render button okay so i hope it makes sense and it is useful for you uh, if you think this tutorial is good then uh, let me know in the comment section below also hit the like button thank you very much for watching if you have any question let me know in the comment section below where do i repeat that <laughs> i'm sorry okay goodbye and see you again